helping his team climb to second in the Premier League table. What a win it was for Leicester City. I love the fact that he also dedicated that hat-trick to all the mothers on Mother's Day. What a lovely touch. And you could see how emotional he was there as well. It meant a lot to him. Emotional? He loved that ball, didn't he? I he mean, did. He was, <laughs> wouldn't let go of it. He was cuddling and eating. I don't know what to do with it. I mean, fantastic. Brilliant for him to see. First Premier League hat-trick. Uh, and he deserved it, but it was a lot was down to Jamie Vardy. But his movement was excellent and his finishing was fantastic today. Yeah, well, he's a, he's a goal scorer, isn't he? I think at times his build-up play can, can be far wanting, but there's no doubt that he has a real ability for getting into the six-yard box, being in a position to score goals. And, you know, he showed with his third goal as well, he can, he, he can strike a ball from distance. But Leicester were terrific today. You know, the, the runs, the, the movement, the patience they showed. And he was there to typify all that. He was there in the six-yard box. He was sharp when that opportunity came in. Probably I could have ended up with a couple more goals, Tim. Yeah. I mean, Vardy gives him the ball where he would want it if he was in that position. He gives him no time, gives him it as early as he possibly can, lets him have the time on the ball. He knows his opportunity for a first-time finish. Watch a ball off Johnny Evans' left foot there. Straight away, they back off, they back off. They think he can't hit it from there. All right, I'll have a go then. Bosh, have that. Behind the goalkeeper before he's even seen it. Three, hat-trick goal, brilliant for him. And you know what? He has had quite a lot of criticism, hasn't he, over the years? Because people don't know what Ian is going to turn up, but he's proving doubters wrong as well, especially well, with that I performance. I don't think he's ever had a real run. I think as a striker, you need a run. You need the confidence. You need a rhythm. And, uh, and I don't think he's ever been allowed to, certainly at Man City, because he was playing like Aguero was there. He was playing second fiddle. Now he's got Jamie Vardy there. But Brendan's found a way. He hasn't got the number 10s anymore. Uh, Jose Perez come back today, but Madison missing, you know, Barnes missing. So he finds a different way. So he plays two strikers. They complement each other very, very well at the moment. Yeah, Jose Perez played his part as well for 2 0. He did. And uh, he's been missing for the previous six games, Jose Perez, through, through injury. And the fact that Barnes and Madison are out, what a welcome addition it was to have him back into the squad. And he picked up some wonderful positions. He was involved in ever everything positive. That Leicester did, you know, this this touch is is terrific, making passes all day long, uh, and you know if you're missing some quality players and who, who play in those positions and you're playing with the front two, you do need that link, and he was that link all day long. Yeah, you got Ian Nacho and you got Vardy, who like to play on the shoulders, like to stretch the centre backs, they like to open up that position for a number ten. Now you need to have a number ten. They tried Tillemans when the, in the absence of Iodi Perez and, and Madison. He's come back in today and he's relishing it. That little bit of a space in between the defence and the, and the midfield. He just picks it up. He's good in tight areas. He sees a pass where the first goal was outstanding outside his right foot. The weight of pass into Jamie Vardy for him to square it for Ian Acho. He was excellent today. No Madison. They need someone to stand up. He's the man at the moment. He certainly is. And it's not very often you'd see a Leicester City 5-0 win without Vardy being on the score sheet as well. <laughs> no, um, and everyone would have expected to see that. But I think he had three assists. He was, he was terrific as well. He didn't quite get that, that, that finishing that you'd expect him to. But he was always in these positions. Every time Leicester made a, a quality attack, he was facing the opposition's goal. He was always in a position to be put through. And I think he was actually trying to cross that maybe to his teammate, getting it to the far post either way. And he actually right behind Ampadu if he doesn't try and defend it. He tries, he doesn't, he doesn't find he's successful. And as we've said, this result was so significant in terms of the Premier League table. We've been talking about that battle to secure yeah. top four status. Leicester second in the table. I know, they've got a lovely cushion there now. We know that they was in their position last year. They dropped out at the last day. I think they've got the confidence now. It's about this time when they, the wheel started to fall off. I don't think it will. I think the likes of Madison will be back, Barnes will be back. I think they'll be all right. You know, I really think they'll hold on this year. And I guess they'll probably hate the fact that everybody keeps talking about the fact that they fell away on the last day of the season, last time out. They want to prove everyone wrong. Of course they do. But all they can do in doing that is keep churning up performances, keep trying to make sure they keep picking up points. And at the moment, that... that result and performance was pretty flawless. They've got to continue that towards the end of the season. OK, well, it's time for some squad rotation now. Thank you very much, Leon. Thank you very much, Tim. It's been a Thank pleasure you. spending the afternoon with you. And next up, it's the North London Derby in the company of Steve Bauer and guests. Big team news, Spurs.
today in the Premier League. And we've had two great games. Brighton winning 2-1 against Southampton. A big win for them in the fight for Premier League survival. And Leicester City firing five past Sheffield United with no reply. Later on, we're in North London for the North London Derby at the Emirates. And how about West Ham over at Old Trafford? West Ham have doubled their points tally from at this stage last season. Can they continue their fine form at Old Trafford? Well, let's show you the Premier League table. There's confirmation. Leicester City second in the table. Now it's over to Manchester United to see if they can take second place back when they place place West Ham later today. As for the bottom, well, there you go. Further misery inflicted on Sheffield United after a very, very unsettling and emotional few days for them. Well, no doubt. Performance and your first Premier League hat trick. It's not a bad day at the office. How do you feel? I don't know how to express this, but I'm over the moon. I'm, I'm delighted. Uh, I thank God Almighty for this day because uh, I've been waiting for this day to come. I've been working really hard to wait for this day to come. So um, I'm really grateful to God and thank my teammates, the manager, for helping me to grow. I thank everyone in the club for helping me as well. So I. I'm really happy for this day and I'm going to use this opportunity to dedicate this hat trick to all the mothers in the world. So they should keep taking care of us. Um, I wish them all a happy Mother's Day. Well, that was a lovely answer to that question. I want to ask you about your partnership with Jamie Vardy because it's becoming so successful. What's that down to, do you think? Yeah, um, I'm really happy uh, playing alongside Jamie. Uh, I said before when I did interview that he always creates space for me. He makes it easy for me to play, to come short and to make runs behind him as well. So playing with him is a joy and uh, hopefully he'll keep going till 40 years because I'm, I'm really happy and delighted playing with him. Does he show a game like today what he can do to the team even when he's not scoring goals? He's so important, his creativity. Yeah, he's a team player. He's a team player. Uh, I think... He helps everyone in the team, so when if, even if he's not scoring, he's still helping the team to win. So, giving me two assists today. So, as you can see, he's he's really good when he's not scoring. But I think the goal will keep coming for him very soon. Well, he played a pivotal part today and today in the Premier League. And we've had two great games. Brighton winning 2-1 against Southampton. A big win for them in the fight for Premier League survival. And Leicester City firing five past Sheffield United with no reply. Later on, we're in North London for the North London derby at the Emirates. And how about West Ham over at Old Trafford? West Ham have doubled their points tally from at this stage last season. Can they continue their fine form at Old Trafford? Well, let's show you the Premier League table. There's confirmation Leicester City second in the table. Now it's over to Manchester United to see if they can take second place back when they place place West Ham later today. As for the bottom, well, there you go. Further misery inflicted on Sheffield United after a very, very unsettling and emotional few days for them. Well, no doubt.